This is a quick video about showing you how to actually deal with turning corners and peaks and curves with applique. This is when it's using a buttonhole stitch. This is a double pass on the outside edge. We start off by finding our starting point, tying off a few stitches, and then starting our applique around the edge of this curve. Now it's important to try and keep our applique bar, the one that goes across into the fabric, as square to the edge as possible. So by taking little steps every now and again, by lifting the foot and turning your work, you will find that it will look like it's square to the edge and not sloping or slanting off. The idea is for the needle to crest the side of the raw edge, hence raw edge applique, and then to stitch with the bar going across to cover and support the fabric onto the base fabric. Now this is what we call a double pass applique stitch, so it does two stitches or three stitches on the side then one single bar, as opposed to a true blanket stitch which is just a single stitch on the side and single stitch under the bar. Now you can see that I'm actually going around the edge and stopping every now and again. My foot is automatically pivoting. I'm lucky to have that on my machine. So every time my needle's down, my foot will just lift up two millimeters and allowing me to pivot. Curves are always slower than straight lines because you want the, the bar of the applique or blanket stitch to try and sit as neatly and as squarely off the edge as possible. One more stitch. I'm just coming onto that fabric there, it's fine. And I'm going to lock off the stitch. So there we have it. And there's our, our stitch looking quite nice and quite square off the edge. Now let's start with our next piece. I've changed my thread color going to sink my needle right on that corner where the orange and red is, lock the stitch off. First bar needs to come onto the orange fabric and try not to get too much off to the other fabric. Straight line down so I don't need to stop and pivot. And once we come to the end we'll just slow up and we try and eyeball and calculate how many stitches we might need. Now that's one stitch. Now I can see that my coming right to the corner. That's really, really good. Now I'm pulling the fabric back slightly to the left hand side so as that my stitch will form exactly on that corner. I don't want it to be out from the, the uh, raw edge and I don't want it to be in on the raw edge. So the idea is to, that's quite close, I'm gonna stop the fabric from moving by just pinching the fabric with my nail turn, the bar goes across the top and then we're going down again. Okay, so it's forming a little square in that corner, which is what we want. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. If one stitch is closer than the other coming to the end, that's absolutely fine. This one's going to be a little bit longer, so I've actually forced it to actually, I've pushed the fabric, pulled the fabric back, sink that needle and down we come again. So. It's it's quite a it's quite a pleasant it's quite I find this it's really relaxing, very very relaxing. One more, and stop. Tying off, threads will go to the back. I'm just going to snip that little thread there because that thread was actually locked off to start off with. There's my corners, that's what I'm wanting to look at. So we've done a round, we've done the square corners. Now we're going to look at points. Basically these three different shapes cover the activities of applique. So coming down to the point, we're not going to do, a tr we're going to do a pivot in two sections. Calculating the stitch, one, two, sink. So I'm pulling it slightly, one. On the corner now, straighten up and come down. 
So that's not going to give you a square, that's going to give you a triangle at the top, which is what we want. Some machines you can actually push this whole stitch to the left hand side, or sorry, to the right hand side of the foot, and you'll find that the edge of the foot will run along the edge of the, the raw edge, and that, that's very helpful um, for doing sort of straight lines, very helpful. We're trying to make the stitch so as it looks like a completely square box. We don't want it to be too shallow, we don't want it to be too long. So the idea is to try and get the stitch looking as square as possible. So there's our for the, those are our three differences. An easy technique. It's fast for raw edge applique, which is one of my favourites.